But today we got money and level 100 Q bound. Is this SD World Tour number 42? What was that? Never mind. Okay. Uh, I've played with Clark a little bit, and his Isabel is a little annoying. I'm going to go ahead and take credit for that because <laughs> I because I bullied him with Villager for years. It's karma. Karma Car came back to bite you. No, nah, no, nah, it's not even karma. He just learned how to play from yeah. being bullied by my Villager. I was surpri surprised for as much as he hated Villager in Smash 4 that he'd play Isabel. In the uh, a yeah. lot of people... I know a lot of people who hated Villager who are playing Isabel just because of the cute dog factor. Okay. I mean, I like Isabel. I like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just don't like how they play. But right now we got money with 58% on him. Doing pretty well. Cubone just having kind of trouble getting in, but with like you only re really need a couple hits, especially with like Nair up air and everything. Like the interesting yeah. thing about Isabel is that Isabel is less of a zoner and more of a trap character. She doesn't have the Lord the same Lord Rocket the Villager has. Her only real zoning tool is a uh, slingshot. Yeah. She has to use her tools to basically set up traps, mm -hmm. but Ike's gonna have an easier time just make closing the gap than he would versus uh, Villager. Yeah, for sure. As long as um, he can just not get hit by Pellis and get through like the mine, the Lloyd mine, uh -huh. then it's like, you know, it's not too hard. But money with the pair right there, not getting too much out mm -hmm. of it. With the thing with the uh, Lloyd in this matchup is that Ike is going to be coming in with Nair a lot, so he's not going to be tripping up the mine. Uh, Money's going to have to be setting that up, like triggering the mine himself. Yeah. But right now we got a level 100 Cubone with the first stock. Mm -hmm. This is where Isabel definitely struggles when you're behind. Oh yeah. Because you're not well. Cubone is just like. I don't think her kill whatever. options are that good. Yeah, for sure. Especially if you want to compare it to Villager too. Uh, I opinion. think F Smash is about as strong as Bowling Ball, but it's not a projectile, so it's much harder to hit. I do think she has a good down smash though. Villager oh, the water, is, yeah. Yeah, Villager is buried. She has like twice the range, and it just straight up kills. Though to be fair, burying is much better in this game. Yeah. Oh, oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've played a lot of Inklings, I know. <laughs> but, um, money not taking too much damage so far. Ooh, and good F-Smash. Okay, yeah. Roll behind F-Smash. Is that the new, the new <laughs> easy money special? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Alright, looking, yeah. One thing easy money definitely likes to do, he likes to plant the, um, the mine, and then kind of threaten with the fishing rod. The one thing I do, I don't really like his use of fishing rod against in this matchup specifically because Ike is kind of Ike's supposed to come in with Nair. Level 100 Cubone's coming in with forward air, but same thing still applies. He's going yeah, over the fishing rod. Jump over it, and then with the, such like what can you can get out of Nair? It's like it's so dangerous. Like right now, you'd be dead to like a back air. Like Someone back should air. tell level one Cubone to use more Nair. He's using a lot of. He's just pressing the C he's stick. He's using every aerial except, like, yeah. It's. I feel like he's pressing the C stick in the direction that Money's currently in. Yeah, I mean, it's and it's it's working, you know. So. You know, Nair. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So I think he knows. I think he's in the know about the Nair. He tried to follow up off it. He didn't get it though. That was a good Nair. Okay. He hit the uh, mine with the Nair. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. It's one of the sad things about the mine. You can hit it to get rid of it, and it also times out after a couple seconds. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, easy money. Just looking. Ooh. Definitely baiting. Mm. To something. That was a risky fishing rod, and it did not pay out. Oh, you. He was scared. He was scared. He was like, I can't roll, but like. I'm gonna I don't be honest. I didn't know that hit under ledge either. I. I'm not gonna say I didn't know, but I'm not gonna say I was expecting that. <laughs> so I didn't know. <laughs> Alright. I feel like if he started charging it like that, I would have figured it out. Yeah. But I mean if I was him, I probably would have like tried to mm, jog under and fair. That was a really good forward there. Uh Ike's recovery is pretty good, but if you hit him out of it, he can't do a whole lot. Yeah. And he can only go up and to the side, so it's definitely limited, but with the help of directional air dodges, it definitely aids him. In a little game. bit, but like he still needs his jump if he yeah, uses oh, yeah. directional air dodge, and that was the thing. If he burned his jump and you hit him, he dies. Ooh, good fishing rod. Uh, the thing about fishing rod is like once it's out, it's just on the ground, but when she, Isabel first throws it out, it is a little aerial, so he was able to catch him on startup. 
Okay, jumping over the mine, trying to look for a nair, but... Good nair. Isabelle's nair is insane. It's it looks pretty- I don't, I, don't, I don't know too much about Isabelle, but it looks pretty pretty good. I think it's like Villager's nair. It doesn't have the same hitbox as his, but like, okay. it, it yeah, feels yeah, just yeah. as fast. It's a good tool. Probably a good, like, out of shield option. Definitely. You really want uh, fast out of shield options in this oh, game. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially with like, how weak shielding is. Cause like jump, ca jumping out of the shield's faster than doing just dropping shield, right? Mm -hmm. I so think you so. want you want something like a nair or an uppy or something. Yeah. Okay. Setting off the mine. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Money recognizing he's trying to jump over the mine and keep an air to air. On. So. Money just has to figure out how to get this kill. He's still in uh, zoning mode, which honestly I would be too. I don't want Ike getting in my face. But he, all of, all oh, of Isabel's way less knockback than I was expecting. Yeah, okay. no. Uh, back, back throws a combo or fishing rod back throws a combo throw. Oh, okay. Up throw. Okay. I guess it works. I don't know anything about fishing rod. Like I didn't need a property for anything. Uh, so. forward throw and up throw kill, and then okay. down throw and back throw are both combo, combo throws. That's interesting. Back throw. Yeah, it's a lot like Crumb's back throw. Okay. Like, is it just have really, like, less lag? Or low lag, or...? Uh... I mean, Crumb's back throw... You I don't I don't know Crumb's back throw, I don't remember. In Crumb's back throw, he sends you behind him, and just a tiny bit up. It's okay. like, imagine Cloud's down throw at zero. Oh, okay, But okay, it just okay. it just stays like that. Because when I think about, like, comboing off a of back throw, I think of, like, Charizard's back throw. You know what I mean? Where you can, like, back throw and just, like, fair, though. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but I think you're on the same characters. Yeah. Cubone didn't really <sighs> do too bad. He just kind of fell apart towards the end, but yeah. See yeah, he was doing pretty good. Yeah, you can see what type of adaptations he makes. More nair, less fair. More nair for sure. And I think. Oh, he's doing it actually. <laughs> I feel like he hurt us. <laughs> nah. The, I mean, no, he didn't. But like the way he's like using nair more than he did, it's like I don't know. He's not. I don't think he's spacing it optimally though. He keeps landing halfway through the move. You want to let the whole move right out. Yeah. Because the late hit on it go is really disjointed. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that was interesting. I don't think he knew the uh, Lloyd was going to stop his momentum there. Ooh. Yeah. Did his up smash used to be bigger? I th I feel like in Smash 4 that might have hit. Yeah. I, his, I, his want, I want to say it would. His sword's looking a little small on that move. Just Specifically just that move. Okay, roll away for two. They they took his old up smash and put it in up air. Yeah. Oh, in the back air. Or yeah, the back air punishing the fishing rod. Back air is such a good option. I know. One Ike is so good. <laughs> and Ike has so many good moves. It was, that was good in Smash 4 though. It was super oh, yeah. fast, super big, and it killed. Fair. Okay, nice. Uh, easy money not rolling in there. Oh, my bad money. Hmm, okay. questionable. I don't know what that was. Probably okay. a misinput. Yeah. There. Though it should oh. be, it should be noted, uh, Ike's up B is a suicide kill at yeah, zero. Yeah, I see, like the down throw up B. Yeah. Like, it's just, unlike Crom's, you can't do like Nair in the up B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That First was unfortunate. Throw. That was definitely unfortunate. Isabel's jab is really weird. The all the jab does, I think it puts her like plus three or something. Isn't there like an infinite or something with that? So the thing is, it know. just puts you like plus three or like plus whatever the frame data is. So like okay. it doesn't combo into anything, but if you can read what they're gonna do, you can punish it. Okay. So if you think they're just gonna s try and use a move, you can do another jab. If you think they're gonna try and shield it, you can grab. Okay, so it's kind of like the mindset of like a snake down throw. Not the not it, the same thing. Obviously, not the same but thing, but like th I think that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the sad thing is, it's also like it goes both ways. If you mess up your guess after hitting a jab. Uh, you can just get hit. Oh, okay. Ooh, Ooh. The landing. Nice. that was good. And money with the set. I feel like in higher level play, jab and just run away is going to be.